What's going on Foodie Ohana and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're taking you guys along with us to enjoy some Chinese noodles and some Chinese barbecue. We are currently on King Street, right across from the original Zippies right there for some Chinese noodles. And we're super excited, so let's get going. Let's go. <laughs> we are at our very first spot at Wu Wei Chong King off of King Street, like I said, across from the original Zippies and Washington Middle School. And as you guys know, we love anything Chinese food. And here they specialize in Sichuan cuisine or more specifically Chong King type of cuisine. If you guys are spicy food lovers, then it's definitely something you're gonna wanna try. Here they have a lot of dishes ranging from spicy to not spicy to dry to noodle soups to braised items. We did feature them on a YouTube short before. I don't know if you guys caught that one, but this is the place we're gonna be doing a full review today. This spot is super, super quaint. There's only about like four to five tables and street parking only. It is the weekend, so we're parking on the street. And generally around here, they do have a lot of street parking. So I don't think you'll have a hard time. And they don't have any menus here. Everything is contactless. They instruct you to scan the QR code for the menu and you can actually order everything and pay through your phone. So the first dish that we ordered was an appetizer and it just came out. This is a spicy cold pickled cucumber salad. There's lots of chilies on there, whole slices of garlic, some ginger, Ginger I see. A little bit different. This is not chopped up. It's literally whole but slivered. As you guys know, if there's spicy items here at a restaurant, you gotta order the cucumber <laughs> to cool it off. But I'm gonna try it first. Mm. Oh wow, I can hear the crunch from here. It is so crunchy but tender at the same time. Slightly pickled, a little bit briny, but man, this packs a spicy punch. And there's multiple types of chili. I see like the sliced red chilies and I even see like the dry chili as well. Ooh, that is quite spicy, but very delicious. I can't stop. Mm. So the dish I like to order here at Wu Wei Chongqing restaurant is the twice fried pork dry noodle. And what that means is the noodle is not in the soup. It is simply al dente tossed in the proprietary blend of spices and you mix it up as soon as it arrives at your table. And you know you did it well when the noodles are nice and evenly coated just like that. That's what you want to see Fudi Ohana. Nice, shiny, glistening noodles. Nobody wants actual dry noodles. I love the dry version noodles as a to the soup because the noodles stay al dente. First bite, cannot wait. Mm. Oh man, I love, love, love egg noodles. It is very chewy, very bouncy, very al dente. The sauce is very customizable. I got it light spicy because last time we came here, I got it too spicy and I regret it after. Even at light spice, you can taste the nice flavors of the Szechuan peppers. I noticed some black bean in here as well. Szechuan spice typically gives you that tingly, numb feeling on your tongue. That's how you know it's Szechuan peppers. And the pork is more like a bacon. It's very thinly sliced. It's almost like bits of bacon. And it's like little crispy bits of pokey heaven. There's also slivers of bell peppers in here. Oh, this is so delicious. Definite must order here at Wu Wei. So guys, I got the house beef noodle. This looks amazing. I customized mine to have the thick noodle. They do have a option for a thin noodle and a wide noodle. I believe Felix got the wide noodle. So this is typically not super spicy. I do see some chili in here, but I think it's just like as a topping. There's also some choy sum and the braised beef is actually on the side. And this is a pretty decent portion. They do have a Wu Wei Chongqing spicy version of this. I got that last time and it was a tad too spicy, especially because after this, we will be going to another place also known for spice. So I didn't want to blow my taste bud right in the beginning of the video. So anyway, got a nice spoonful of their soup. I see some chili. It's kind of more like a clear broth type of soup. Mm. Shoyu based, I think. I do taste the braising liquid as well from the beef. A lot of beefy flavor. Gonna go in for the noodles. 
Mm. Mm. Oh, the noodles. They're cooked so perfectly. They were sitting in this soup, but they're not even soggy at all. It is a bit numbing. A little bit of the Sichuan spice in there, but it has to be. I mean, it's Chongqing cuisine. I just love the fragrance of that Sichuan spice. To me, I feel like the Sichuan spice compared to other chili, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Taste buds are going wild right now. I feel like the Sichuan spice is a little more fragrant than normal spice. It has kind of like a florally note to it. It's not super strong, but you can taste it like very faintly. Guys, this spot has my heart. Mm, 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 mm. The beef, guys, the star, the braised beef. And just look at how nice and thick and it's so soft, like I'm, I can literally squeeze this with my chopstick. I do see some gelatinous parts in there as well. Cheers. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. It kind of has like an oxtail soup flavor, even though this is not oxtail soup, but it has that, what is that flavor, like anise? I do taste some anise, star anise flavor in this. It is a bit different from the soup in here, which I kind of like the, the depth that it gives it. Oh goodness, I gotta eat everything all together. Oh, my chopstick skills being put to the test here. Got the noodle and the beef. Oh gosh, how, how do I do this? Mm, mm. I'm gonna try Amanda's uh, house beef broth. It almost tastes like the flour of a peppercorn. Beef, nicely braised. It's sitting in all of its juices. I love that it's separate. That way, all the fat of the juices isn't introduced into the bowl. They scoop some of the beef fat and actually put it in the broth if you want a more oily, type of feel, mouth feel. And for those of you who haven't tried Szechuan style cooking yet, it's a little different from Chinese cuisine in a sense that the food is more fragrant from the Szechuan spice. It tends to be more spicy because of that. Also, it's more acidic. You get some sour notes in there, nice spices, also flavors of star anise. If it's your guys' first time, this place is a must try. Mm. Do you have the glossy lipstick? Porky lip gloss. So this is Felix's dish, the double fried pork. Ooh, there's so much pork in here. I love this type of noodle. It just catches all of the sauces. Everything just gets trapped in there. More noodle for the sauce to grab onto. Cheers. Mm, this is like a Sichuan chow fun. Not really. Kind of reminds me of it. Kind of reminds me of um, me, Kolf. Vietnamese dried toss noodle or the Hong Kong style toss noodle, but they eat it with roast duck. I do taste a little spice. I didn't think that there was going to be spice in here. I don't want to eat that. No. <laughs> Fudohana. We kind of messed up our reservations at the next spot. It's actually not until a lot later. So we're going to be unconventional and do dessert right before our next dinner spot. <laughs> and it's actually really great timing because this spot we're at, it's called Frost City and it is very, very popular. And it's usually always busy and packed here. And right now, literally, it's open. There's no one here. Yes, because we deviated from <laughs> the norm. Yeah, so let's cool off some of that Szechuan spice. Yeah. So the dessert spot that we are at right now is called Frost City. It's off of Mo'ili'ili. They are known for their Taiwanese desserts, the snow ice in particular. They do also have soup desserts like hot sesame ball soup and grass jelly, herbal jelly. They have all of those things as well. So it's similar to Hawaii shave ice, but a little bit different. The shaving is kind of like in sheets looking. It's, it's really delicious. We've been here in a previous video, but I think at that time it was so busy, we couldn't even get a seat in here. So we ended up eating outside but today there's literally no one here because it is still dinner time i want to cool off my palate with some snow ice we put in our order and it should be coming out shortly thank you thank you <sighs> look at that do you guys see the sheet layers on that oh my goodness we got a combo flavor this is their regular size it's pretty big this is their regular size combo lychee watermelon. There's also slivers of watermelon, pineapple, and mochi. Usually there's popping boba, but I guess they ran out today. Okay, you ready to dig in? Yes, I am. I love that when you order the combo, there is two different flavors of your choice, but it blends in so nicely, like as if it came like that. Like the block of ice came like pink and white. Mm. Did you tell me what we got? Yes, mango. I mean, what? 
mango, lychee, and watermelon. I'm just saying random stuff at this point. It's that shish one, man. It gets to you. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, so light, refreshing, delicate mm. sheets of ice. It's barely any sheets. It melts upon contact to your warm tongue. And guys, watermelon is my favorite flavor here. The lychee is really good. This is our first time getting lychee. I like the contrast between like the sweet and a little bit of the sourness from the lychee. Tartness, I mean. My tongue is cooled already. I love that everything is not overly sweet, so you can just keep going. It's a very light dessert. This is the way to go, Frosty, you guys. And they're open pretty late as well. But be warned, if you come late, they're probably going to be really busy because this is kind of like a later night spot after dinner kind of spot definitely check them out we'll have the links down in the description below we will say this is very unconventional knowing that we're going to be eating dinner after this <laughs> more food i'm not complaining though because this next spot let's just say it's going to bring the meats don't want to miss that one Food Ohana. So we are here at Han Skewer House and guys, we are ready to grind. We had some time to digest. We even brought reinforcements, but you are in for a meat fest, a treat in its own. Cannot wait to share it with you guys. And by meat fest, he means? It's Mongolian Chinese style barbecue. Well, anyway, let's get to ordering. I'm hungry. Again. <laughs> we got our appetizers. I've been really wanting to try this pepper corn. Salt and pepper corn. Salt and pepper corn. It kind of smells like a salsa, like Felix said. Like a corn salsa. But it's literally corn on the cob, just quartered. And I ordered their... They were unfortunately out of beef tendon tonight, but I did get their beef salad with cucumbers. It is chilled, cooked and chilled. Get That's this a big, huge <laughs> big flappy piece right here. <laughs> We asked our server to give us what Genghis Khan would drink normally. No. And they brought out this huge juice thing. Looks like jungle juice. Just kidding, by the way. <laughs> Everything does come out quick. Um, cheers. Right, cheers. Yes. Mongolia style. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Oh, man. Nothing beats real fresh juice, especially when it's mixed like this. It looks like this one is the passion fruit. I see slices of lime, lemon, orange, and of course, lily koi. It's like aloha made and on steroids. So I guess you can call this Mongolia made. <laughs> wow, that's really refreshing. For you guys looking to have a good time after this, they do have an alcohol version. We got the virgin one. Let's restart. Where were we? Amanda ate corn. I ate beef salad. We ordered everything mild spicy, by the way. They do ask you for your spice level. The salad is very refreshing. Beef is a little on the dry side, but the cucumbers give it a nice balance. I like that the corn is like kind of spicy. It's corn is a little bit spicy. It, it, it has a nice peppery kick and it has a sweetness because it is a sweet corn. It's a little hard to eat just because it's on the cob, like quartered, but other than that, very delicious. And we have a feast here, you guys. This is crazy. So next appetizer, this is the spicy wonton. And this is the green onion scallion pancake. Whoa, this is a slippery bugger. And this pancake is very thin. Mm. Mm. It tastes like you order just the outside of a croissant and this is what you get with a hint of green onion flavor. The filling is very tender. It's not dense at all. Very fluffy on the inside. It tastes like really big chunks of shrimp. Sauce is a bit vinegary, not super spicy, even though it looks like it's going to be spicy because of the chili sauce. More like soy vinegar. Ooh, Felix just cut me a piece of eggplant. Wow, it smells so good. Looks like it's topped with a bunch of garlic sprinkled with green onions. Wow, that looks amazing. Are you guys eggplant fans? Let us know. So on the menu, it says riddle fried shrimp. We weren't sure what that was. It literally comes out in a skillet like this, a hot skillet with a bunch of prawns in here. So this is a pretty good deal. Oh, <laughs> are you gonna go for the whole thing? Yep, we're going for the whole thing. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This tastes like what an Asian snack shrimp chip would taste like. The eggplant is so tender and juicy. I love the topping. You taste kind of like that grilled like charcoal flavor, garlic, but also that Mongolian style barbecue spices. The shrimp is fried perfectly. So this one, if you guys normally don't eat shrimp with the shell on, this one is perfect to try eating it with shell on for the first time because everything is just crispy. It's like shrimp chips, literally. Mm. Sounds crispy. Oh yeah, this is, and the sauce is in, it's like a, not too spicy, but crushed red chili, the Chinese style crushed chili sauce. It's not super spicy, but it has a lot of flavor. And it looks like it's resting on a bed of vegetables as well. Oh, so you get everything. Oh, is that pork belly? It's potato. 
I could eat that over a bed of rice and I'd be happy. Should we try some skewers? Yes, let's get into the skewers. Our server was talking about this skewer. It's a pork with enoki mushroom Ooh. that caught my eye. This is one of my favorite things to get at any yakitori place. I'm excited to try the Mongolian or Chinese style. And for the price of each order here, guys, you get three or five skewers depending on your order. But I say it's a pretty good deal. I love too that here they put the skewers on top of this hot plate. Underneath there's candles and Felix kind of made a joke like, <laughs> really? Is this but gonna guys, work? You know, like I was second guessing the design, but trust us yeah. guys, it works. It's sizzling. Yeah, trust it is sizzling. <laughs> this is Mongolian Chinese style barbecue. Very apparent indifference, especially when you taste the spice. I feel like that's the first thing you taste immediately that will distinguish the difference. Everyone gets sauces or dipping choices of pineapple apple sauce that's slightly spicy, my favorite, and this chili fennel powder. I'm gonna try the beef tongue. Mm. The tongue is very tender. It's a little lean, which is normal with beef tongue. They also have a healthy dusting of Chinese spices on here. I really like the spices and it's not too spicy. It has a, a lot of like cumin and maybe some fennel flavor, but it's not like super overly spicy like the place we went to earlier. Like this will not burn your booty hole, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but This will just tickle it. <laughs> but also if you're more used to yakitori, it's not as like crispy as yakitori. At yes. least the, the pork belly with the enoki mushroom. Yeah, I want to try some chicken skin another one of my favorites i'm gonna try it with that pineapple salsa thing i'm gonna um, try the king oyster mushroom mm. Mm. well these oyster mushrooms are very meaty they have some like texture to them they're not like mushy or anything oh that salsa definitely gotta try it yeah i don't taste the apple but Nonetheless, it's very citrusy, very refreshing. It's a nice balance to the spice. And that chicken skin, who doesn't love chicken skin? Do yourselves a favor, get the chicken skin. I'm gonna be adventurous and try venison. Okay, and then I'll just try the uh, beef then. What would Jenga's choose? Lamb, of course. Are you, Are you supposed to just bite it off? Yeah, oh, man, it's Mongolian barbecue. It's how you eat. No room for weakness at this skewer house. Cheers. Mm. Oh wow, mm. the meat is so tender. It's not gamey at all. Very tender. And I tried it with a little bit of that pineapple sauce. It gives it a nice little sweetness and extra kick if you like it more spicy. It goes perfect. I will say after a while the flavor gets a little repetitive because it is the same type of seasoning on everything, but it works. I really like it. If it does get repetitive, you just go back to eating something else with it, like my scallion croissant. Or that lobster that's mm. staring me in the eye. Forgot about the lobster. Let's get into the lobster. Guys, they have seafood here as well. So they have everything like chicken, pork, beef, seafood, lamb. Now it's time for us to try that seafood. And we also got oysters. But it's grilled, so no worries here. Going in for this lobster. Wow, it looks so juicy. Oh, oh, oh. The shell's, the shell's hot. It's Ooh. like they just finished grilling these. These are also topped with tons of garlic. Oh my goodness. Oh man, these are bambucha oysters. <laughs> Holy cow, this thing is huge. Look at it. It's like the size of my tongue. Mmm. Mmm. You good, bro? <laughs> that was huge. I don't know how I got all of that in my mouth, but... Gives it a little bit herbiness, too. I really like that. The oyster is very meaty. If you don't have a big mouth like I do, maybe cut it in half, because that was huge. Even I had a hard time. The sauce is like a minced garlic with scallion, and the lemon gives it a nice citrus note to it. Anything lemon seafood, perfect pairing. Wow. It turns it into almost like a garlicky ponzu type of taste. I love that you can taste the grill too with like the lobster. Tons of garlic with the cilantro. cilantro. Everything so far, no complaints. I'm enjoying myself very much so. We have gone to other skewer places, not gonna name names, but I will say compared to those places, I love that this place has bigger pieces of meat. Yeah, there's a lot on the skewer. You guys, if you see this empty base here, they didn't jip you. This is where the skewers go. And you know, I'll <laughs> eating it, just in case. Any favorite so far? So far, my favorite would have to be that shrimp griddle. Must order if you like spicy garlic shrimp. The beef tongue. I really like the eggplant, the lobster, mm. king oyster mm. mushroom. Mm. The shrimp is really good. I think the shrimp is a crowd favorite. The shrimp and Genghis's jug of juice.
right, Furio Hana, that about wraps up today's video of Chinese noodle and Mongolian Chinese style barbecue skewers. We hope you guys enjoyed this one because we definitely did. And guys, as always, we leave all the links down in the description below if you want to check these places out. Highly recommend it, guys. And you guys know we love to eat Chinese food, so definitely check it out. If you have not already, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And if you have not already, come and join our Furio Hana by clicking that subscribe button down below. It's completely free. It's the easiest way to support us. And we will see you guys on the next video. All right, Furio Hana, until the next one, eat your Chinese noodle, Mongolian Chinese barbecue skewers. Peace out. Good night, guys. Bye, guys. We're our first spot called Wu Wei Chong King. Right? So the first spot we're at today is called Frost. First spot. I mean, what? Oh, Here at Khan Restaurant. Khan okay, Skewer House. Here at Skan. Skan <laughs> is the twice, we went twice fried, right? Yeah. Tossed in this sauce, and which is tossed in this, tossed in their special blend. House beef stew. What? <laughs> Soup. Is that the venison? Just be careful not to poke your eye out with these things. And guys, mango. What? There's not even a speck of yellow. I don't know why. Ooh, the mango. Mango? Ooh, the water. <laughs> Can someone put a mango counter here every time Amanda says mango? And that's how much shots you take. You get vinegary, you get some suck. It gives you that. The corn is very good. The corn is. Mm. Tastes like corn. Actually, I'm gonna do some of that. I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, it's Amanda's boy. I can't do that. Oh, that's also. Oh, sorry, my bad. All right, food on. Until the next. Oh.